Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. In today's video, I am going to show you 15 powerful features for One UI 7 update for Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus and Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra. I will also show you different features for GoodLock app. So let's start. The first feature is about organizing and presenting information into tabular form. So for example, you are browsing through a website and you find some interesting information and you want to organize and present that information in a neat and structured table. So first of all, you have to start making your selection. So I will start selecting this text and I will select it till here. Then you will see this new writing assist option. So you can select it and then here you can see this table option so you can select it from here so the AI will start organizing this text into a neat and structured table so here you can see the final result with rows and columns you can also change the layout for this table so here we have this transpose option so I will select it and here you can see we have a different layout for this table you can also share it to your notes so you have to select this share icon and then from here you have to select Samsung notes and then you have to select add to new note so the same table will be added to your notes and later if you want you can also edit it the next feature is about adding events from notes so for example i open my notes and here i will write a date so i will write here 7 january 26 and then I will select this date so here you will see a new option of add event so you can select it it will open the event option inside your calendar here you can enter all the relevant information about that event and then you can save it and now for example I open my calendar so here you can see the event is available over here so I can select it and then I will get all the information the next feature is about AI select for generative edit. For example, I want to remove a specific part from this image. I can use AI select for generative edit. First of all, I will open air command and then from here I will open AI select tool and then I will make my selection. So I will select this whole image and then here you can see we have this new option of generative edit. So you can select it. It will open this new window and then here you can make your selection so I will use my S Pen and then I will start making my selection so I want to remove this part so I will select it like this and then here you can see we have this option of eraser so you can select it and then here we have this option of generate so you can select this generate option so AI will start making a new image without this part you just have to wait for a few seconds so here you can see the final result now if you want you can also save it you can also edit it and you can also share it the next feature is about AI stickers so I will open my notes and then here I will select this keyboard option and then from here I will select this emoji icon icon and here you will see this new AI stickers option so you can select it and then from here you have to select this plus icon and then here you have to write your prompt so for example I want to generate a sticker about note taking with pen and coffee so I will write my prompt and then here you can see we have different style options available so you can select doodle illustration 3d emoji or retro logo i will select doodle and then i will select this generate option so the ai will start generating a sticker based on your prompt so here you can see the final result you can select this done option so the sticker will be available inside your notes please note that you can also use this option for your messages in your emails and in other platforms as well the next feature is about Gemini live so you can ask Gemini live about anything on your screen for example I want to ask about this image first of all I have to press and hold this power button it will open Gemini and then from here you can select share screen with live and then you can select this start option and now you can ask about anything so for example I want to ask about this image so I will ask from Gemini can you explain the the image on my screen in detail. Okay, it looks like you're looking at an illustration of the circulatory system. It shows the heart in the center, pumping blood through a network of blood vessels. 
the red vessels carry oxygenated blood away from the so heart. this is how we you can it. use gemini live you can ask other questions as well and then you can use that information in other platforms the next feature is about extracting text from an image and convert it into tabular form for example i want to extract text from this image so i will open air command and then from here i will open ai select tool and then i will start making my selection so i will select this image and then here we have this t option so i will select this t icon it will highlight all the text and then here we have this new option of writing assist so i will select it and then here we have this table option so i will select it so ai will start extracting this text and then it will convert it into tabular form you just have to wait for a few seconds so here you can see the final result so all the text is available in tabular form you can also change the layout here we have this transpose option so you can change the layout for this text and you can also share it inside your notes so i will select this share icon and then i will select my notes and then I will select add to new note so here you can see the whole table is now available inside my notes and later if you want you can also edit it the next feature is about now bar for example i will open spotify and here i will play this audio and then i will open clock and i will start this timer and then i will open voice recorder and then from here i will start this voice recording and then i will lock my tablet so all of my activities are now showing over here in now bar i can swipe between these apps and i can also control these apps directly through my lock screen the next thing is for example if i unlock my tablet you can also see these activities in this status bar you can also select it from here and then it will show you all of your activities in this status bar you can also swipe between these activities from this status bar as well one more thing i want to mention here is below this video you see this like button if you press it like this it will change its color you can also try this feature the next feature is about writing assist tool so for example i open this website and now i want to convert this text into bullet points so i will start selecting this text so for example i will select it till here and then we have this writing assist option so i will select it and then from here you can select bullet points so i will select it now ai will start converting this text into bullet points so here you can see the final result you can also share it in other platforms and if you want to see the original content you can just swipe it like this and here it will show you this original content you can also summarize this text so you have to go back from here and here we have this summarize option so you can select it and ai will start summarizing this text you can also generate detailed summary for this text so you have to select this icon from here and then you can select this detailed option so it will generate a detailed summary the next thing is you can also change the writing style so you have to go back from here and then you can select this writing style option and the ai will start changing the writing style so here we have this professional you can swipe it like this and here it will show you the casual writing style and if you swipe you have have more options the next feature is about opening hyperlinks in split screen for example i open this website and here i have this hyperlink now if i select this hyperlink it will open a new page but i don't want to miss the main page so i will go back from here to the main page and then i will use my s pen i will press and hold this hyperlink like this and then i will start dragging this hyperlink to the right side of my screen so i will just drag it like this and then i will drop it over here now you can see the hyperlink open in split screen and i can also access my main page as well same way you can also bring this image to your gallery so i will open this page in full screen and then i will use my s pen i will press and hold it like this and then here i have this option of clip subject so i will select it it will only select this image without these labelings so i will use my s pen i will press and hold it like this and now for example if i drag it towards the right side of my screen and then i will drop it over here so the same image will open in gallery and later i can edit it the next thing is same way you can also drag text to your notes so i will open this website in full screen and now for example here i have 
have this text and I want this text in my notes. I will use my S Pen and then I will start selecting this text. So for example, I will select it till here. Now I will use my S Pen. I will press and hold it like this and then I will start dragging it towards the right side of my screen. So I will just drag it like this and then I will drop it over here and then I will select Samsung notes and then I will select add to new note. So the same text is now available inside my notes and now if you want you can also edit it. And now I will show you the new GoodLock app features. The next feature is about DIY home. So here you can see I can place this app anywhere on my home screen. I can also increase or decrease its size. So here I can make it full size. I can also rotate this app to any position and I can place it on top of this widget or I can also place it on top of this app. I can also do same thing with this widget as well. So for example, I want to reduce the size for this widget. I can easily reduce it. I can also rotate it and I can also move it anywhere on my home screen. I can also add stickers. So here we have this stickers option. I will select it. Here we have different stickers available. You can add any of these stickers. You can also add text as well. So for example, I like this sticker. I can select it and here you can see a new sticker has been added to my home screen and I can also customize it. Once you finish with your customization, you can just tap it like this and your new screen has been set. So how to enable DIY home? For First of all, you have to open Galaxy Store and then here you have to search for this GoodLock app. So you have to download this app and once you download this GoodLock app, you have to open this app and then from here you have to select this Home Up plugin. So I will select home up and then you have to select home screen option. So here we have this home screen option. So I will select it and then you have to turn it on from here and then you have to scroll down and you will see this DIY home screen. So if it is disabled, you have to enable it from here. Then what you have to do, you just have to pinch your screen like this and then you will see this new DIY home option. So you have to select it and then you can easily customize your home screen. The next thing is, for example, you don't want this DIY home option and you want to go back to your normal home screen. You can also disable this option. You just have to open GoodLock app and then from here select home up and then you have to select home screen. So I will select home screen from here and then you can see we have this DIY home screen option. You can disable it from here and then if you go back, you will have your normal screen. The next feature is about gesture animation. For example, I open this app and now I will close this app and you will see this smooth animation. Same thing, I will open another app and if I close it, you can see this smooth animation. So how to enable this smooth animation? So first of all, you have to open GoodLock app and then from here, you have to open Home Up plugin. So I will select Home Up and then from here, you have to select gesture settings. So here we have this gesture settings option so I will select it you have to enable it from here and the next thing is you also have to enable this home gesture animation tuning so I will enable it from here and then I will open it and here you can see we have a lot of style options available so you can select classic you also have the option for elegance and then here we have this dynamic and then we have this sweet option and then you can also customize the tuning by yourself so here we have this simple tuning option and now you can see you can easily customize the animation flow by yourself. The next thing is you can also go for this advanced tuning option. So I will select it and then here we have this detailed settings. So I will select it and here you can see you can customize the tuning by yourself by using different options. So guys, please note that to access these settings, you have to use the swipe gesture option from settings. So I will go to settings and here you have to go to display and then inside display, you have to select navigation bar and then from here you have to select swipe gestures. The next feature is about task changer. So if I select my recent apps here, you can see this type of layout with vertical list in circular way. So how to enable this type of layout? So first of all, you have to open GoodLock app and then from here you have to open home up and then you have to select task changer. So here we have this task changer. So you have to select it and then you have to enable it from here and then you can select your layout type. So 
so the first one is tilt stack so if i select it and then i will select my recent apps so here you can see we have this type of layout for our recent apps and then the next one is grid so grid is a basic style so if i select my recent apps here you have this type of layout and then the next one is vertical list so here is the vertical list layout for your recent apps and then the last one is slim list so i will select this slim list and then if i select this recent app button so i have this type of layout you can also do other customization as well so i will select good lock app and then here you can see we have this detailed settings so here we have this circular list option so you can enable or disable it from here and then you also have this option of search bar the next feature is about taskbar size so by default you can add up to 14 different apps in your taskbar but you can add more apps as well so for example i want to add this calculator app i will drag and drop it over here now i want to add this galaxy store app i will drag and drop here so you can easily drag and drop these apps anywhere in your taskbar so for example i want to add this app i want to add another app so I will drag and drop it over here. So this is how you can add up to 18 different apps in your taskbar. So how to enable this option? So first of all, you have to open GoodLock app and then from here you have to open this home up plugin. So I will open it and then from here you have to select home screen. So I will select home screen. If it is disabled, you have to enable it from here. Then you have to scroll down and here you can see we have this favorites max count option. So you have to select it and then if it is set to 14, you can set it to maximum 18. So I will select 18 and then I will select this apply option. And now here you can add up to 18 different apps in your taskbar. The next feature is about Pentastic. So if I bring my S Pen closer to the screen, you can see this type of pointer. And if I press my S Pen button, it will open this type of layout for my Air command. So how to customize these options? First of all, you have to open GoodLock app. And then from here, you have to open Pentastic plugin so i will select it and here you can do all your customization so for air command you can select any style so for example i will select this retro style and then you can also customize other settings as well and then you can select this use option so if i bring my pen closer to the screen and then if i press my s pen button you can see this type of layout for your air command the next thing is about floating icon so you can select floating icon here you can select the pointer so you can select any pointer so for example i will select this pointer and now if i bring my pen closer here i have this type of pointer for my s pen and then you can also select sound and then you can also customize double tap shortcut so guys there are a lot of other features available inside this good lock app if you are interested please let me know in the comments i will create a separate video about those features so guys, this is for today's video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.